35 the cotton and hunters chase big field for this race over three miles two called Jonathan Alex Cherry seven winners Nina Magdur Patrick Ogan basic cuisine Davy Ladd Tunisia Mark Cooper Hot Springs and no mini Gerard Lady Sharona Alex Cherry seven winners to keep complaining in Hollywood ten winners Carver Dover Martin Leaden five bad Notes Jamie Shea, seven winners, tough as boots, pod for racing with Corbin's Raw, the Vox Meister, Patrick Hogan, Tabernier Carpet, Hollywood, and Linda McMahon for Mark Cooper, 14 winners, big field, three miles two. And the end order, so a lot can happen in this. Derek Indian still free clear at the top on the enters table. Linda McMahon. Usually runs in these type of races, leads from Carbo Dobo. When he jumped it into second, back marker there, making a mistake was the Ross Meister. But the leader is Linda Batman by a couple of them. Head towards the next stamp, and he came towards it. Oh, jumped it safely. Linda Batman clear of Lady Sharona in second. Then behind these comes Carbo Dobo, basic cuisine. Called Jonathan the top weight there, uh, the tub in the carpet, bottom weight, so bookend in the, the weight here, Alex Cherry, Corbin's Wall, Lincoln's Tunisia, and Takabi Kaplanin, Nina Di Magura, Barley Notes, the horse Meister, Hot Springs Unknown, and then the Batman is Tepper's Boots. So they're settling on down, they all jump well so far. I haven't noticed any mistakes anyway. And uh, sorry about that. Right, they're swinging in then. And Diddy McMahon is clear. So four to five clear of Cord Jonathan and Corbin's Raw. And sorry if I get any notifications for you while I'm commentating, it happens. And when it lost its pilot there was the only Martin leading horse in the race, that's Cabo Dobo. It's gone. So Martin will stay on five so far for the season in the Hunters table. And did my man, it's clear. Oh, Mark Cooper was also on five, I believe. He fought length clear called Jonathan. Now it's Cherry hoping to get a win here. Close that gap on the top man. Hollywood style, we lost that. Uh, Ticky B complaining. Well, that's one of Derek Hinton's out of the running. He still has one left in the race, and he's tubbing your carpet in fourth. He's swinging now on the far side. Did my man, he's extending his lead about five lengths now from Cole Jonathan in second. Corbin's always in third, they're jumping that on the inside in fourth. He's tubbing your carpet. Then comes Tunisia, Barley Notes. James Shea hoping to also look like Jared Cherry on 7 both trying to get the clothes on the other you know, side but the glitch people get what I can do today anyway hope to get fixed for next season they jump that one and Linda McMahon leads from on the on the inside of Cole Jonathan on the outer two to three lengths to Corbin's Raw on the inside to open the carpet hot spring and no one I don't know why that cold Jonathan is running wide, he's got plenty of room to move into the inside, but he's going around the outside for some reason. And maybe losing lots of grounds, so he might pay for it in the end. Oh, didn't even jump well. Well should be disqualified really. I don't know why that horse is running out so wide. Alex Cherry is cursing you, seeing his horse doing this, but Linda McMahon, and he's still pretending to jump the fence on the outside. And either the jockey's lost his range or something, I don't know what's going on there. And jump in the next, maybe. I don't know why that horse has not come towards the inside of the track. Maybe someone with the way he points. I'll have to have a look in the 
decent. Sorry for that, Alex. But little my man leads by a couple ends from Lady Sharona, another Alex Cherry horse in second. To be near carpeting with basic Gonzalini in fourth and Tunisia in fifth. They jump in the next. They all jumped it safely. They got seven left to run. And he's still not come across that horse on the far side. Linda McMahon is a length clear from Toby near carpet and then Tunisia and they jump in that one. If that almost on the outside wins is what a run. And now coming through Hot Springs and no one. Jimmy Jarrod really Jarrod was decided. He wanted to quicken the pace up and he's gone on by a couple of them sure. He's about five lengths clear and he's also not coming to the inside but he's well clear of the field at the moment from Tobinia Carpe in second, Nina de Migua. Making some ground for Patrick Hogan, Duncan Basic Cuisine and behind his toughest boot who's at the rear early on is now moving in through the field ahead of Corwin's Raw, Lady Sharon and Linda McMahon, Cole Jonathan's dropped right away, the voice master has not got to him at all, neither will Barley out notes today, they go under three phones left to run, this horse is clear, Hot Springs unknown, but five lengths clear from Basic Cuisine, those come after him in second, behind these comes Tinnison and Dino, McGill with toughest boots and two near carpet, Lady Sharona, they only got two left to jump and Hot spring, springs and no one jumps it. Dropping in class today and he's showing it. He's well clear up towards the final fence he come and hot springs and no one. He only has to jump to collect here from Tunisia back in second. We moved in second, he's remote second. I jumped the last and he's over and he's clear. Up towards line in really Gerard. Down in the under chase, hot springs and no one wins well from Tunisia in second. Basic cuisine for Lady Sharon the fourth and Nina McCall fifth. A win for Winnie, Jimmy, Winnie Jarrod then. And I'll see you soon.